Hello, everybody. This is your girl, Allie, and I am actually getting ready to go for a tour of the Madam C.J. Walker Museum here in Atlanta, Georgia. So, if they allow me to record, I am going to take you guys inside and show you what's going on in there. Okay, so this here we are outside. Uh, we're in downtown Atlanta. And this is what it looks like on the outside. This is a neat little car here. We'll put that on there, but this is in front of the actual building. Um, it's Madame C.J. Walker Beauty Shop. And the So stay tuned. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. You are watching Allie's View. And we're about to go for a tour, hopefully, of the C.J. Walker Museum. Turn down the pharaoh, okay. and then we'll get started. Okay, my name is Reese. I'm the curator and artistic director of the Madam C.J. Walker Museum. We are also the home of the first black-owned and operated radio station in North America, WERD Studios, which operated directly above this space. Awesome. So I discovered this space as a result of riding in this area as a hairstylist about 30 years ago and I see the name on the window. Mm -hmm. I completely freaked out. I was riding in my convertible, slammed on the brakes, backed up, parked, got out of the car and walked to the glass and just started touching the writing, Madam C.J. Walker. I was never interested in moving my salon here. I was just come back periodically and pay respect to the space. Mm -hmm. So 20 years ago, I'm looking for a new location. And I remember this space. I said it'd be interesting to operate my salon out of an original Madam C.J. Yeah, Walker beer shop. Yeah, sure would be. So I get the lease, but I did not expect to find the original beauty tools used oh, by the Walker yeah. agents who used to work in wow. here. So all this is authentic. Look at that, yeah. The pressing cone, crimping iron, original flat iron. Wow, wow. that is original. They were called pullers in those days. Okay. And these are the Marcel irons that were used. So let's talk about a little history with Madam C.J. Walker as it relates to these tools. Okay. Because in beauty school, I was taught that she invented the pressing comb and the curling iron. But that would be an inaccurate bit of information regarding her legacy. These tools were actually used before she was born. Mm. This book. 1886 catalog Bloomingdale's. Wow. Oh, wow. And there's the puller and the curling iron. 
they're known as Marcel irons now, but that was not the original name. Okay. The original name for this iron is the undulation iron. But a white stylist in France created the technique using the undulation iron and the pressing cone to create waves in hair that we call Marcel waves or mm. finger waves. Okay. He created this style. So the company who makes this named it after him because he was selling so many of their irons. Okay. So they named this iron the Marcel iron. Okay. Wow. So Madam C.J. Walker did not invent that. It doesn't discredit her legacy. Mm -hmm. She just didn't invent this tool. Okay. So Madam C.J. Walker is credited with inventing a hair relaxer. Mm. Wow. Yes. But that's not accurate. Oh. The brother Garrett Morgan, who invented the stoplight, mm -hmm. the gas mask, invented hair relaxers. Is that right? Wow. By accident, yeah. Wow. Wow. And everybody on Allie's View, I wear or I use relaxers in my hair. <laughs> so this wow. is an original styling station from the 1930s in here. That's the, uh, the oven, the gas oven. And you would just take your tool after you light the match and set the fire and put your tool on there and heat it up and start doing hair. Mm -hmm. Amazing. That is amazing. Wow. So, Madam C.J. Walker is credited with being the first to become a millionaire in the beauty industry. But this woman is actually the beginning of the black hair care industry. Annie Turnbull Malone. Yeah. Now, in the, did you watch the... Yes, I saw the movie. Okay. <laughs> uh, Hollywood so, has to do what Hollywood needs to do to make money. So okay. they created a little more turmoil mm -hmm. between the two okay. that was really... Um, really not going, yeah. the case. But she was the mentor to Madam C.J. Walker. She had the first school of cosmetology, the first black global brand, wow. period, in North America. And, and Madam C.J. Walker went to her beauty school Malone. and sold her products, Annie Turnbull Malone. Okay. So because Madam C.J. Walker was born on a cotton plantation, we have cotton in here. Okay. And a lot of people will buy a stalk of cotton, you know, paying respect to that legacy. Mm -hmm. So that's okay. why we have the cotton here. Okay. And then two years into the lease is when the black lady came to the door while I was doing hair mm -hmm. and told me that the first black radio station in North America was upstairs. Wow. And Dr. King's office, the original headquarters for SCLC, uh -huh. was on the other side of that wall. Wow. wow. So this place was just layered in, in history, history between 1930 and 1930. So I've been preserving this for about 20 years now. Awesome. And it didn't look like this. I created the look out of respect to the legacy. Okay. Absolutely. You, okay. you kind of merged it. Exactly. Okay. Because people don't realize that when they think about Annie Turnbull and Madam C.J. Walker, they were listening to the greatest jazz artists of our time. Okay. You know, the Fats Wallers, the, you know, in the early days, Louis Armstrong, okay. and yes. going into the bebop era of the 1940s and 50s with Lester Young and Dexter Gordon. You know, so mm -hmm. all these artists would be the artists that Madam C.J. and Turnbull were listening to. So the music plays a role in creating the ambience and the historical narrative for this space. Absolutely. You know, I had no clue this was here. Um, How did you find I'm it? I'm in a travel group on Facebook. Yeah. And because of COVID-19, I like to travel our country. Yeah. You know, things like that. So I, I was did. like, what can I do, you know, in my back door. So who told so somebody in your travel group? So in the travel group, some people when I Google well I put in like a search for Atlanta. Because mm -hmm. I've done all of the other, you know, touristy things or whatever. And so there was a lady that said, Oh, when she was in Atlanta, she went by the Madam C. J. Walker Museum and I was like, A museum in Atlanta? <laughs> that museum? And so then I Googled it yeah. and then found your information. So I was like, well, I'm just going to call to see whether, oh, wonderful. you know, you. it's yeah. open. Because I'd never been to like the Apex Museum and that kind of thing. And they're, they're closed. They're closed. Yeah, and I talked to the director the other day and they're just not opening. I mean, I open strictly by appointment. Okay. Uh, you know, just take okay. a few people at a time. And I don't mm -hmm. know why they don't just do that. You know, exactly. Just take a few people and make sure that the place is sterilized and social mm -hmm. distance mm -hmm. and mask, mm -hmm. and you can successfully do that. Exactly. But yeah, we were on Love and Hip Hop 
sometime um, maybe earlier this year. Okay. It was the episode on uh, skin bleaching. Mimi was, uh, no, no, what's the other girl's name? Spice. Okay. Mimi was trying to in, tell Spice not to bleach, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So you should check that episode out. Okay. And then we're in a couple of documentaries. One documentary that we're in is called Sweet Auburn Blues. Mm. It's on YouTube. And the other documentary okay. is called Beauty and Struggle. Okay. And both are on YouTube. Okay, I'll have to look for that. Well, you're watching Allie's View. This is a brand new YouTube channel. Oh, wonderful YouTubers. Well, I'm trying to become one. Or I am one. No, I you're say. not trying to become. Right. You're becoming. One. There's and a I world of difference. I will give you all right the name down, and I'm going to put this on Allie's View. It's just whatever it is that I'm uh, experiencing in my journey. So let me give you some more history okay. sure. as, as it relates to this space. During the Civil Rights Movement, most people, black or white, short or tall, have seen the images of black people being brutalized with dogs, hoses, batons by the police. So there were hospital and legal fees associated with that. These are the original collection cans wow. used to raise money to get our protesters out of jail. These are the original I gave cans. And some of them are on, uh, what is that, eBay, but we have them here for sale as well. So what it would happen is, Dr. King and Abernathy created this system. They would pass it out to churches, women's groups, fraternal organizations, and in turn, the groups would put money in there, turn it in. Once you turned it in, then they gave you the I gave card. So these are the original collection cans to help pay for the, uh, the legal and hospital fees during the civil rights movement. So we have a lot of artifacts in here that are, are very significant to the movement. But yeah, you can look around, but make sure you tag us. Oh yeah, I will. Okay. So the tag is W-E-R-D Studio ATL. Okay, W-E-R-D. Word Studio ATL. Now, W-E-R-D was the first black radio station in North America, but what people don't realize is the expression, word up, word to your mother, is referring to W-E-R-D. That goes back to the 1940s. Oh, wow. wow. Word. Word. Okay. Word is bond. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah, you can look around. Okay. Now, like with the collection of... Um, I guess the vinyl albums that you have, I mean, what are... The vinyl came about as a result of me. I have a client whose mother was in a senior facility, and I would go there to do her mother's hair. Okay. The seniors would be sitting around in dead silence, so I asked the director, could I possibly bring music while I'm doing hair to sort of entertain the seniors? Mm -hmm. They loved it. Another client recognized what I was doing, and her father just passed away, and this is her father when he was a kid. Okay. She donated, once he passed, she donated this entire record collection wow. to the cause wow. because of my work with seniors. Wow. Wow. And look at these shoes. Oh, some doctor came in, and I was explaining to him, this is my, my getaway, and I, I just want to wear a smoking jacket and... <laughs> and velvet slippers, uh -huh. and he bought me a pair of velvet slippers. <laughs> those are beautiful. So that's like a prop. Yeah, those are beautiful. And you can sit here and just relax. Yeah, exactly. And people rent this space out. So you can go on Instagram and contact my son. And, you know, people rent it out for parties okay. and CD, really, uh, spoken word, you know, really? women's group. Yeah, people rent it out all the time. Okay, on Instagram. Now, what's the Instagram tag? W E R D Studio A T L. Okay, that's it all the way. Okay. Yeah. We have Tupac in here. Mm -hmm. There it is. Now we are completely sold out. One. We sold out of Madam C.J. Walker shirts and Word shirts just before Corona. <gasps> so I didn't want to read gonna... up because I didn't know when this thing was going to end. Yeah. So uh, once you follow us on Instagram, as soon as the shirts are in, it'll be on Instagram. And oh, you can yeah. order your Madam C.J. Walker shirt. Ooh, and that's sure one of the as best As soon as I ways. saw that, I was and like, because I always get a t-shirt from yeah. places that I go. Okay.
education that you're able to and share knowledge provide for people such as myself and others that will come through. Have a seat. Oh, yeah. Madam C.T. Walker was very quotable. Yeah. Have a seat on the sofa. I, could have, I just got my sofa redone, so I try to get people to have a seat, yes. get a picture on it. Absolutely. Wow. Okay, everybody, you are visiting along with me the Madam C.J. Walker Museum right here in Atlanta, Georgia. And you got the privilege, just as I did. To hear from the curator, Reese International, Reese International, curator of the Madam C.J. Walker Museum and WERD Studio, the first black-owned radio station in North America, where we are all vintage, all vinyl, all the time. And I love it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. You are watching Alley's View. You guys know I'm a new YouTuber, but I'm old in the game of life and. This has been inspirational for me and my cousin. You got a glimpse of my cousin Vanessa just now <laughs> on Allie's view. She's probably ready to cut oh, my head off here. for putting her on here. But anyway, hit that subscribe button, share this video, and help get the word out. And you take the time to come visit this beautiful museum and learn a lot. Hit that subscribe button. Okay, everybody, you're watching Allie's View. This is your girl, Allie. Our curator really has given me the car. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button. More importantly, make sure that you stop by the Madam C.J. Walker Beauty Shop and Museum right here in Atlanta.